The Resistance is a social deduction game with secret identities, where players are either members of the Resistance attempting to overthrow a malignant government, or spies trying to thwart the Resistance. The Resistance wins the game if three missions are completed successfully, the spies win the game if three missions fail, or the Resistance is unable to organize the mission team at any point in the game. Prepare your minds to navigate the web of logic and deceit that is the Resistance. Set up the game for the appropriate number of people. Place the board on the table with the round and vote track markers in their starting locations. Shuffle the appropriate number of character cards. Deal one card to each player face down for them to secretly look at the role assigned to them for this game. Place the mission leader token, member tokens, and mission success and fail cards next to the board. Then give each player a set of two vote cards, approve and reject. Before the game begins, the leader must ensure that all the spies know one another by repeating the following script. Okay, everyone close their eyes. Spies, open their eyes. Make sure you know who the other spies are. Okay, spies, close your eyes. Everyone with their eyes closed now and everyone open their eyes. Now the game begins. Each of the five rounds consists of two parts, a team building phase and a mission phase. During the team building phase, the current leader selects the appropriate number of players that he or she would like on the mission team. The leader may select any player to be on the mission team, including himself. The mission team selection is followed by all the players voting to approve or reject the mission team. If the mission team does not receive a majority approval, then the leader token moves clockwise to the next player who will select a new mission team. Once a mission team receives a majority approval, then the round moves to the mission phase. Each player on the mission team must secretly decide either to support or sabotage the mission. The leader passes a set of mission cards, one fail and one success, to each mission team member. Each player on the mission shuffles and then selects a mission card and passes it face down to the leader. It is important to remember that a resistance player must play a mission success card. But a spy player may play either a mission success card or a mission fail card. The leader shuffles the played mission cards without looking at them and then reveals them to the group. The mission is successful only if all the cards revealed are mission success cards. The leader puts a mission success token on the board, moves the round marker, and passes the leader token to the person on his left. The mission fails if one or more mission fail cards have been played. The exception to this rule is during the fourth mission in games of seven or more players that requires at least two mission fail cards to have been played for the mission to fail. If the mission fails, the leader puts a mission fail token on the board moves the round marker and passes the leader token to the person on his left. Once the result of the mission has been revealed, the discarded mission cards from each mission team member should also be collected face down, shuffled, and placed back into their respective piles next to the board. Both the team building phase and mission phase are repeated for each round until one faction wins. The resistance wins if three missions are successful. The spies win if three missions fail. Information in the resistance comes at multiple levels. First are players voting patterns. Second are the mission results. And third are the cues that you can discern from player interactions. 
Resistance players must use all the information at hand to root out the spy infestation. Good luck.